Now let us go to the next question, question number 16, which contains a problem taken from RBI grade B exam 2009. This is a little difficult problem. Let us see how it, uh, how it is and let us go through the working which will bring us a lot of enlightenment. A word and number arrangement machine when given an input line of words and numbers rearranges them following a particular rule. What rule? We have to find out. The following is an illustration of the rearrangement. Single digit numbers are preceded by a zero. All other numbers are two digit numbers. This is an extra information which we are given. Step 5 is the last step in the arrangement. And if you see the uh, working, in the working there are only step 5. So some words and numbers are given. And it is arranged in some order based on some rule and step 5 is the final arrangement. Now let us see how the machine is following which rule. How the machine is working and is following which rule. Let us see. Now what I have given here is I have already drawn the table so that we can save some time. The input is given here. How many input is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words and numbers are given. And they are finally arranged in step 5 in some order. I told you earlier, if you want to find out the logic of the machine, you should look at the final line. Step 5 is the final line. It is the last step in the arrangement. That means the all arrangements are over. Now, what is the logic? You simply look at this. T, R, M, G, F, C. The alphabets are arranged. There are six alphabets. The alphabets are arranged in descending order. Then what is the next one? There are numbers, six numbers. 2, 9, 12, 18, 28, 57. The numbers are arranged in ascending order. So the logic of the machine is very simple. The alphabets are arranged in descending order. There are six alphabets. They are arranged in a sequence in descending order. There are six numbers. They are arranged in ascending order. But that is not sufficient. How the machine is working? The step wise also we should understand. Then only we will be able to follow the same step is in the questions that are asked based on this machine. So first is the highest of the alphabet should come. Which is the highest of the alphabet? T. T we will write here and then the highest of the number should come here. The highest of the number is in the right extreme therefore highest of the number is 57. It should come in the right extreme. So two steps are over. So we will inherit this T and 57. Here what we should do? G 18 R 0 to 12 M 28 F C 0 9. We have shifted the remaining numbers. So we have inherited in step 2 T we have inherited 57. What should come here? An alphabet lower than T. Which is the alphabet? R is the alphabet. So R will come here, number which is lower than 57, which is the number lower than 57, 28, so step 2 is over, we shall shift now, G, 18, 0, 2, 12, M, F, C, 0, 9. So step 2 is over. Now let us go to step 3. T and R we shall inherit. Here 28 and 57 we shall inherit. Then what should come here? An alphabet lower than R. We have G, M, F, C. So alphabet lower than R is M. And what should come here? A number lower than 28. 
it is 18 0 2 12 0 9 so 18 is the number 18 will come here now we have made these three arrangements now we shall shift G 0 2 12 F C 0 9 so the next step is we shall inherit the T R M we shall inherit and here 18, 28, 57 we will inherit so what should come here an alphabet lower than M the option is G, F, C so G should come here it has already come so we will write here and then what should be the number that should come here 18 0, 2, 12, 0, 9 so 12 is here so 12 must come here so this is step 4 then we shall shift now 0 2 F C 0 9 now we shall inherit the first 4 T R M G is inherited here also first 4 12 18 28 57 is inherited then after G what should come F should come so F we will write here and then here what should come after 12 0 9 0 9 is already there so we will write here 0 9 C will come here 0 2 will come here and the arrangement is complete this is the arrangement this is how it is working now to recapitulate it is working on both sides please remember it is not earlier we were working only on one side this is a little tough exam therefore it is a question it is a working on both sides here the alphabet first six number alphabets uh, are arranged in uh, descending order then the numbers are arranged in the ascending order each time two two both in the left extreme and the right extreme uh, the arrangements are done then in between shifting is done so that is the logic now let us look at the questions 